Ukrainian armed forces shot down the Russian Landsat with an FPV drone for the first time. The downing of the Russian Landsat by an FPV drone is more an exception than a pattern because in such cases the skill and luck of the operator is important. This was stated by the editor-in-chief of Defense Express Oleg Katov on the air of Espresso. In any case, we are not talking about the fact that this is an absolutely massive case. Here is an exception which was the first documented case when the Landsat was hit using an FPV drone. Officially, Ukraine uses drones to monitor airspace and find enemy targets, reconnaissance UAVs, and it was there that the Zala type reconnaissance aircraft was first spotted. And Zala and Landsat usually work very closely, that is, one points to targets for the other. Apparently already at this stage, activity began to raise drones to intercept Zala but appeared in the sky, Landsat, the expert noted. He also said that the Landsat was intercepted at oncoming speeds. This means that the Landsat was flying at a speed of over 100 kilometers, so the FPV drone operator had little time to reach the point where their trajectories would converge. This really firstly speaks of the exceptional skill of the operator. As we have seen, he hit the Landsat, the wreckage of which was found. On the one hand, there is excellent evidence that such interceptions are possible and also a rather logical conclusion that in the conditions when interception directly depends on such things as luck, plus exclusively the skill of the operator, coherence, because you need to know and get an exact indication from where, what target is flying, what is its course, what altitude, speed, to guess the moment, Katov emphasized. According to him, Everything can become easier if you use modern technologies, for example, computer vision. All this can be simplified if we talk about the use of modern technologies like machine vision, when a drone can independently detect a target in the sky, and this is an excellent option. The operator will only make the decision to destroy and the computer will calculate the meeting point, concluded the military expert. A powerful storm hit Russian capital Moscow on Thursday afternoon, killing at least two people and injuring over a dozen others, authorities reported. Russia's emergency services ministry said a man was killed near Park Dubki in northern Moscow when wind gusts of around 18 to 23 meters per second uprooted a tree that then crushed him. As a result of unfavorable weather conditions, 18 people were hospitalized in city hospitals, three of them are in serious condition. Among those hospitalized are four children, their condition is assessed as satisfactory, the press service of Moscow Health Department told local media. The Ministry of Emergency Situations warned of possible tornadoes from 12 to 1700 hours local time on Thursday. It said strong winds and rain was expected to continue until 2200 hours on Thursday. The storm has caused cancellation of around 50 flights across the capital city. The plane flying from Magadan to Moscow failed to land at the capital's Sheremetyevo airport and landed in Nizhny Novgorod. According to meteorologists, the deadly storm was brought in by a strong cold front. Moscow Mayor Sergei Sabayanin warned on Wednesday that a powerful storm system was expected to bring heavy rain and high winds, as well as rare tornadoes to Moscow the following day. Огонь. 